if you're making a million dollars, but you're spending $800,000 of it on producing, well, you're not making a million dollars anymore. Now you're making 200 grand. The big hot news all over political YouTube right now is Steven Crowder calling out the Daily Wire for a contract that they tried to get him to sign. A lot of people are giving him crap because they're like, hey, oh, you turned down a $50 million contract. This is really just about the money. You're just a greedy bastard. But the truth is, if you think that, you didn't listen to what Steven Crowder said in his video in the first place. A contract for $50 million over four years, by the way, it's not just a $50 million contract. It's a $50 million contract over four years. It's still about a million dollars a month. However, if you actually paid attention to Steven Crowder's video, you'd realize that the penalties involved in this contract are pretty severe. In fact, they're almost guaranteed to happen because of the way YouTube has treated Steven Crowder over the years, and they involve a cut in the operating budget starting at 25%. So your $50 million contract, oh, if YouTube decides to give you a strike, well, now you're getting 25% less. How much is that? You know that million a month? Now it's 750 grand a month. You just lost $250,000 a month for four years. Now it's a $37.5 million contract. Oh, YouTube gave you another strike and you got a suspension? Now it's not a $50 million contract, not a $37.5 million contract. It's a $25 million contract. Oh, and by the way, you also have to read a bunch of ads, six or seven ads, throughout your show. You know, one of the reasons that I unsubscribed from Ben Shapiro, I got tired of the fact that every time I turned around, I was hearing a stupid ad read. If your show's full of ad reads, I'm not going to listen to it. Screw you. I'm out. So no, he's got one ad read now. He does seven ad reads later. Okay, that's fine. Um, except I'm not going to be watching. So you're going to cut the audience down just by forcing them to do all these extra ad reads. And then you're threatening to take away 25%, 50%. The penalties really start stacking up. At some point, you're basically working with nothing. What's 50 million minus 50% of 50 million? It's not quite so lucrative now, is it? Oh no, it's not a $50 million contract. And yes, you might say, whoa, $50 million is a lot of money. I'd do some pretty seriously bad stuff if someone paid me a million dollars a month. That might be the case, but to bring a show like Steven Crowder's to air, it's not as simple as just sticking a camera in your face and talking like what I'm doing right now. Steven Crowder has a staff. Steven Crowder has several people that help him run his show. It's not as simple as just one guy in front of a webcam. It's a produced show. It has expenses. It has overhead. If you're making a million dollars, but you're spending $800,000 of it on producing, well, you're not making a million dollars anymore. Now you're making 200 grand. And that's not the numbers for him. That's just an example that I'm pulling out so that you have a vague idea of what's going on. The bottom line is you don't know what his production costs are. And if someone has to produce this show and the contract, remember, the contract does say that the show must be produced at the same quality or better than what it is now. If you produce this show, Let's just say you produce it and it costs you 600 grand a month to do the production, to pay all the staff, to pay all the taxes, to pay all the overhead. 600 grand a month, just an assumption. And you have a contract that pays you about a million a month. Now YouTube gives you a strike. Well, now it's 750,000 a month. Well, my production costs are 600,000 a month. So how much am I making? 150,000 a month. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Susan Wiki Wiki has decided that I get another strike because they don't like that I speak truth to their power. Oops. Oh, well, I have another strike. Well, normally, if it was just me alone, I could fight them on it and get money back. I also have, you know, the mug club thing, so I get money on the side. But now I'm under this contract that says that if I get that second strike, I lose another 25%. And I don't just lose it. I lose it for a significant period of time, at least 90 days. So now, 
because YouTube has decided to double strike me and give me a one week or whatever suspension, now my operating budget for my 600,000 a month show that I have to maintain at the same level of production quality has dropped to 500,000. Now I am losing $100,000 a month. A lot of normal human beings cannot fathom the cost of doing business. When they see a million dollars, they think, holy crap, if I had a million dollars, I'd be set. I'd be set for a long time. I'd have a, a million dollars, I make thirty. I make $30,000 a year. A million dollars is more money than I'll ever see in my entire lifetime. What are you doing turning down $50 million, dude? You're insane. But overhead, expenses... Oh, no. See, that's the problem. You have to spend the money to make the money. And that means that in the end, you don't make as much money. And you can actually lose money. This is called business. Most people don't get it. So when you see those snarky dicks in the comments going, Oh, Stephen Crowder walked away from the contract because he just wanted to make more money. They don't understand the problems. And Crowder expressed them very clearly. If he signed the contract, they basically take YouTube's censorship and extend it deep into Crowder's wallet. They make it a guaranteed effect on Crowder's wallet. Whereas now, he has the whole Mug Club subscription thing. If he's getting paid by the Daily Wire instead, and they take his money away, well, you can't just run off and go, hey, support me, because my the people that are paying me a bunch of money that they're not supporting me, so you support me independently. No, you can't do that because they want to own his show. If you don't understand this stuff and you're running around saying, oh, the Daily Wire is right and, and you really missed the mark or you're, you're really just a greedy dick who wants more money. If you say any of that stuff, you show that you have no clue what you're talking about, that you didn't understand what was laid out in the first place. There is nothing Nothing that the Daily Wire can say to defend this contract at all. There is no defense. Not even the tired defense of, oh, wait, this was just an introductory offer. This, this was just to get the ball rolling. You could have totally negotiated it. If someone came to me and they came to me with a contract that had penalties that come from the big entity that I'm trying to avoid the censorship of, basically extending that down directly into my wallet and potentially going way below my actual operating costs to run my business and they want to own my business for several years they want to hold the rights to everything they want me to lock in the production value of everything but then they want to take my money away if the censorship entity decides that they don't like what I say. And half of the reason people watch me is because, oh, that, that big censorship entity, well, I say things that, that they may not like, but I say them with courage because right now, with viewer support, it does not matter if they like what I say or not. I have other platforms. I have other options. But if you want to lock me into this thing and then put me under that big tech thumb of censorship and you want me to potentially run budgets into the ground to actually lose money on the deal. No, that is not a starting point for negotiating. That is an insult. That is a slap in the face. And you walk away. You do not sit there and go, okay, let's negotiate this out and that out. No. If that's where they want to start from, you're already so deep into the bad faith. You're already so deep into this is really bad for me and they don't understand my business model or how my show works. You have already gone so far into those weeds that it's unacceptable to even bother continuing. There is no point. Steven Crowder is right. Daily Wire is wrong. That's all there is to it. I'm Jody Bruce on Politics. Bye for now.